Hi, I'm Delexian, and most of you know that I'm a big fan of racing games, between the content from my streams or the endless number of videos I've done on them, especially the albeit a bit clickbaity most popular video on my channel of Forza Horizon 3. Yesterday, a fan of the Need for Speed games tweeted at Toyota UK asking, quote, where is Toyota in the new Need for Speed game? That's a real missed opportunity. And Toyota being out of touch as always, they reply with, not there. You can find our cars in GT Sport, which doesn't promote illegal street racing. I'll just pause there for a moment. Like, are you kidding me? Being against street racing, I get, but in a video game, come on. Do you people really think that EA condones illegal street racing? I'm almost 100% sure that when you open up their games, it literally says, hey, don't try this at home, plastered up across the splash screen. And later that day, after the near immediate backlash they received from the racing game community on that tweet, they actually deleted their tweet altogether. And if you look now, link in the description, you'll actually see that it's missing. And you'll also notice the Need for Speed official account's snarky reply of, pfft, nerds. And don't get me wrong, I appreciate Gran Turismo Sport. It's an okay looking game. That's about where it stops for me as I don't own a PlayStation 4 at the moment. But what about the Forza Motorsport series? They don't condone street racing in any way. Hell, there aren't any open roads in the game at all. Gotta love double standards, am I right? But hey, who am I other than someone who's loved and supported the racing game industry from way back on PlayStation 1 with Gran Turismo 2, and PlayStation 2 with Gran Turismo 3 and 4, and PlayStation 3 with Gran Turismo 5 and 6, and then every single Forza Motorsport release since their first release on Xbox 360 all the way back in 2007 with Forza Motorsport 2. And even up till now with Forza Motorsport 7 and Forza Horizon 4. And not to mention every single Need for Speed game, excluding the latest Hot Pursuit game and the Shift series. I wasn't a fan of those really. They just didn't really meet my style. Along with the outlier games like Test Drive Unlimited 1 and 2 and The Crew and The Crew 2. And I've enjoyed these games for years, and Toyota has, up until recently, always been my favorite parts of these games. And before you go and make a comment, yes, I know other more, quote, qualified people have made rants about this already, but I figured it was about time I did, because this is just getting ridiculous at this point. Just listen to your customers, for fuck's sake, and just put your cars in games that people actually want to see them in. Though, again, I have all the respect for GT Sport, considering they've been carrying on for as long as they've been carrying on. Seeing Gran Turismo this far down the line really makes me appreciate how far technology has come, considering the first game looked like this, and the most recent game, Gran Turismo Sport, looks like this. But come on already, what was having your cars in games like Need for Speed and Forza Horizon even costing you? The support of some uptight soccer moms? Money from investors? What? Maybe if you guys actually gave a valid reason other than we don't like these people, meh, we'd actually care. And we would actually accept that you just don't want to put these cars in your games for insert reason, other than obviously, as I previously stated. But you choose to have these cop-out responses and for what? Because honestly, I don't know what you gain from this other than the hatred from the very community that's been buying your cars for years. With that said, again, I bear no ill will towards Toyota. I just want to be able to appreciate their cars in other games than just Gran Turismo. Mainly because the whole car community doesn't want to just buy a PS4 just to be able to drive Toyota cars. Come on now. It's kind of unfair to your people. But hey, that's just a theory. Oh, wait, wrong channel. Sorry. But hey, that's just my opinion. And if you disagree, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments below. And with that said, I've been Delexian. Peace.